Once the seafloor samples are brought to land, it's time to look at them more closely in the laboratory. The microbiologists want to find out what microbes live under the seafloor. They have several ways to do that, depending on the samples. For mud, called sediment, they might look for the microbes with a microscope. Another way to see what microbes are in a sample is called culturing. The scientists try to grow new microbes from the ones that are living in the sample. The more microbes there are, the easier it is to learn about them. Scientists mix microbe food, water, and the sample to see if anything grows in it. They're very careful not to get any other microbes in the mix. The liquid food starts out blue, and if microbes are there and eat the food, it turns pink and then clear. So the scientists know there are microbes living inside. Or they might put the sample on a culture plate and see if a colony forms. Once the scientists have enough microbes, they can extract, or take out, only the microbe's DNA, which is the individual instructions inside every cell for how it lives. The DNA helps the scientists figure out who is there and how they might make a living way down inside the seafloor.